Today we have a quick video before we'll have another video later on, based on the tweet that we're seeing here. You believe your cause just, but your actions lead to devastation. I see there is no other choice but for me to step in and take matters into my own hands. The moon will purify this land. The time to pick a side has come, join me or fall. This is obviously about Tsukuyomi once again, at the next step of the data mining. And different from what this person thinks, it's probably not going to be a mage. Because if we look at the image here, then we can see quite a lot. We can see the silhouette here, um, some sort of shoulder pads, some sort of thing that covers her neck. Actually looks a little bit like uh, the Mulan art as well, the early art that we saw. But more importantly, what we can see here are these two different blades. So I'm not entirely sure if these different colors are part of the lore or part of something else. Um, or if this is some specific steroid effect that one blade will have at certain times. But either way, I think this is very interesting and very cool to see. You can also see something here that looks a little bit like hair. I think these uh, parts here are like strands of hair like hanging down and then it's up in a ponytail here. Could be something else as well, but it looks very much like it. Um, but I'm mostly interested in the in the weapons here because it actually reminds me a little bit of weapons from like World of Warcraft demon hunters or weaponry that we saw on uh, Blood Elves Premier or Night Elves quite a lot, like this those glaive type of weapons. Which I would be a little bit surprised if that was a type of weapon that he's going to be using. But at the same time, I'm not quite sure how this blade shape would work otherwise. This does not look like swords unless he has his arms crossed because of the angle, because they're kind of like pointing backwards. So if these were some types of arm blades, that would very much make sense with the shape, because then he would just be like holding his arms uh, pointing to the ground right now, and, and the blades would be going up. And that also matches the part here that you can see, where there's like a little, um, I want to say like holster, some sort of like cover on top of uh, one side of the blade, that would not be typical for a saw type of weapon. So. That would be really cool. It would also re look really cool with like fast attack speed if, if it's actually some glaive type of weapon or like uh, even just some, some arm blade that ends at the hand. And yeah, that's just all that we can see for now. But I think it looks really cool already. I'm really, really excited. And for me, once again, it confirms that this is very, very, very likely an assassin because the armor here doesn't look too heavy either. And the cool thing is that it also is announced here that today on the Game of Awards, uh, but well, 11 a.m. ET, it depends on what time zone you're in, but <laughs> um, there will be an, a reveal trailer for him, I guess, that will show the character, which is, I think, just two hours from now. now. So, yeah, if you want to check that out, you can head over there. I will, of course, make another video talking about that when it comes out. But I'm very excited. I'm looking forward to this, and I just wanted to quickly let you know that this will be happening. And with that, thank you guys very much for watching, and I hope to see you later today. If you're new to the channel, feel sub button and maybe the bell, so that you get notified of any future video as well. Deuce Sloth, out.